that's right, it's unboxing time. So the fantastic Shadow Spear box set. For one and two, let's open them up a little bit early, which is really awesome. I will explain in the video how I managed to get that. Hope you enjoy, make sure you subs, like, do all that sort of jazz. Carry on watching. Hi, welcome to another video from me, Christopher at DBG. So yes, I've got two boxes um, of the Shadow Sphere set, which I am really excited about. I've watched and watched everything on Community. I've watched every YouTuber who's done their, their videos and I've really, really wanted the product early. So if people don't know, me and James have worked for DGW um, many years ago and I used to be a hobby youth worker, not directly with Games Workshop, but with Kent Kitty Council at the time. And part of that project was helping young people who have been bullied and just using my gaming background, um, I managed to convince that there was a pot of funding to help these young people that were often forgotten. So basically we just called in some contacts that still work at GW and they sent us some products. It's not really like a service level agreement um, or a non-disclosure agreement, which is what all the bigger channels have, um, mainly because we don't have the subs for that, but it's really just they sent us some product because they, one, liked what we used to do, they looked at the channels and thought, do you know what, you're all about the community and not really massively showy or anything like that, um, we're just a small channel. And they thought, do you know what, we'll send you some product. It might escalate into more, um, it was definitely an element if we wanted to continue with a proper, um, non-service non -service agreement, yeah, non-disclosure agreement, sorry, um, with a service level agreement, um, which is my understanding of what those type of agreements are. They could be worded differently, but in my current work, non-service level agreement is when you work with someone. So basically that's that's the bottom line of how we got this. Um, if we get more subs, then it could lead to like the people from Tabletop Tank, Tabletop Tactics or Winters and things like that, that they get the, the, the amazing unboxing and they go through everything. Um, and they've got really, you know, their, their Games Workshop product reviews nice and early. Um, I'm not saying we're gonna hit the subs that they have, that's like a dream of me and James's, but, um, you know, getting more subs and more people out there who are liking our videos, that's not my game. But I know you don't wanna to listen to me major on for too long. You wanna actually see what's in this product. So, I think what's important, I forgot my knife in the excitement, so I'm just gonna open it up. So open up one. Nice little box. I'm going to turn the camera face down um, so you can stop seeing my face and actually see what you're here for and hope you enjoy. So, quite a cool little box set. Um, I love the artwork. Uh, they sent some of the promotional stuff as well. Um, so, you have the new troops that come through, new snipers. Um, they sent us two because we've got the two new products. The actual hole. Yeah, so you've got nice little cards. Um, that come through of it, which is literally just the matching of the box. And on the back, we got Blu-rayers and Librarian as well. Some of the stats for those. So quite cool to see those actually in the fresh as well. So quite cool. I really, really, really those are those different on the one, the other one they gave me. That's so we got the Spencer Squad. And we got the Venom Crawler. So they're quite cool. So even though they are the same, the same. Yeah, they are the same. They actually got different cards on the back, so that's actually quite useful. I know you want to see all the rules and stuff like that as well. I'll be on a separate video. Um, but let's just get it unboxed and have a look. So no, normally this is not my normal setup. Um, only because, at the moment, I haven't had a chance to set up my gaming table. At the moment, which was um, really massively... Um, Subsidised by Urban Mats, about 6 by 4 one of those portable tables, so really enjoying those. Can you see anything? Yeah. So we got the Librarian, really nice and crisp. I do love the head. 
I think he is a really solid, solid miniature. Um, I know everyone saw him like doing like tango and things like that, which is yeah, quite cool. And so from here, what I can tell is the chaos. So we have you know, champion with the axe, the UI cannon down there. Some loads of detail on there. I mean, you look at the pictures that they've got as well that are out there, and you'll see more detail on what's here. Um, you've got, I want to say, so like, yeah, so you've got the two, uh, what a possess the greater possess models as well, which look really cool. Everyone was wondering what this glory hand was as well, which I really, really like. Um, I just ordered a lot more of the backpacks because I'm using some of the Age of Sigma corn guys um, and going from there as well. And they are, you can't really, I mean the only downside to like, you know, these type of models is you can't really move or maneuver them too much. There's not a massive scope to convert, or maybe it's quite a big scope to convert, sorry, to actually repose. They're quite solid in their poses, but that's what you expect from the sort of style box sets at the moment. So let's look at this guy. And I believe that is the Captain Sprue. Let me I'm looking for double. Yeah, so that's the Captain Sprue. Really like his base. It's got stands there. And from that. Really cool. Just even detail on the backpack. Really like that as well. Now, this is what I'm really looking forward to. So, it's a bit of a mix on here. So, we got some of the new sniper guys, the new sort of forward troops um, that they've got as well. Um, I have forgotten their name entirely and um, we'll have a look those before the end uh, and then you have the jump guys with the auto cannon as well really what i really like is how much detail is actually on the sniper i mean the cloaks are really cool um even just the, the fact they've gone a little bit further with this than i'd say the normal um dark millennium box set is the fact they've added detail on the bases or so you know the foots are on something the foots on a stand um, I really like this I think these complement model wise I haven't even looked at the rules yet but model wise I think they complement what is already a, a quite a good introduction of the Primus Marines myself I know there's quite a lot of negativity towards Primus Marines and some old school and believe me I don't want um, what they refer to now as squat marines um, I don't want them disappearing. I already have four companies um, and I, I don't want to just suddenly see them disappearing at all um, because I still love playing with them. Um, but I do have a couple of Primus Armies. Um, that are, one's called Devil Sons. So I use quite he quite a lot in a tournament. And don't get me wrong, they're sort of mixed with Leviathans and things like that. Um, but I'm planning a Crimson Fist Army with this. This is what this can be, my Crimson Fist Army. Um, it's already got predators. It's already got a to do do dreadnought. The, every, all you know, all all that sort of stuff. Some this intercessors and you know all that sort of real good mix. Gang, auto cannon has got the auto cannon guy. He's got a lot of jib. I mean, I don't think he's got a lot lot of credit going for him at the moment because of the weird jump pack and you know that sort of thing. I think generally what I've heard the rules are quite cool um, if not the character are a little bit more expensive but we'll, we'll deep into that in another video again I just really dig these snipers I think they can be used on something else bit of an expensive conversion if you're just buying the sniper rifle but again a good sprue with the space marines there let's see if we can get any more space marines as well so yeah so it looks like you get one one massive sprue of chaos, which you know is quite good. There's not a good, there's a good mix of chaos in there still, but not massive. This seems like a duplicate sprue. Yes, yeah, so you get two duplicate sprues, so they got the same models in there. So you got a jump guy, a sniper, and what it looks like the two. Two or three, could be three. Free shoot, noob. Which are the Primus Marines. 
as well. Then we have the new sorcerer. And he's a really he looks a lot bigger than what I thought actually, just because of the cloak coming down. Um that's cool, that's just gonna compare his body size. Yeah, you can see that's quite distinctly bigger. Really cool. I, lo I love the model. Um, everyone, I bet everyone thinking it was going to be like a Black Legion um, model coming out there. As much as that would be really awesome. They're way far off at the moment. Um, love the skull. And this is one of the models I looked forward to the most. Um, the next was not really the spider, was the Blair Rayers. I thought they were awesome. Um, I liked them before, but they just didn't have enough, they wasn't big and present enough to be what I thought they were. Um, but watching some of the reports and stuff on them at the moment, the rules that they've gone up on, the toughness they've gone up on, you know, you can have now one model, which is really cool, because I used to always run just one model of Blit Race, because it used to be 80 points in seventh, which used to be quite cool. And we've got the spider. Um, it's all full of chaos stuff on there. That is on there. You've got a bit of a hole where a mouth with you know, the chaos star is. The tentacles coming out. Gang. And you could use use these in different armies, which is quite cool. The blit rays, yeah, you you use them all over the place. And I know the most common tournament tournament scene and the most logical thing for me is that you take them as Sinesh. And some of the spikes on the shields are actually coming out, which is really cool. The blit rays look good. They're really, really solid. And look on the back. See this on there. Yeah, really good. Right. Right. Certainly not being prepared. I'm not getting a, a knife to open this up. So we had the Shadow Spear Ashley campaign book, which is quite cool. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a review on that. It's got little missions and stuff like that. Um, but I think it's been, generally been covered by a lot of people already. Um, and some really cool pictures as well. Yeah, really solid. Then we have the Demon King book. What well, could be the new Chaos book in a sense, but it's not. It is, these are supplement codexes really to add to what's already there. Um, I won't do a full review, but there's your little glimpse um, of the book there. Then your Vanguard book. Again, it's its own separate codex in a sense, but it is something there to add to your existing armies. Now, I don't know, I haven't read the book yet, but um, by the looks of things, I don't think a pure Vanguard list could work by itself. Um, but for competitive, but for fun games, which, let's be honest, the majority of us want to have fun when we play. I think they're a really cool addition. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look and have a look at like the Phobos armor and stuff like that. Then we got what is the um, Shadow Shadow Sphere actually army list as well. So let's get it open. In the back, it's just the painted guys as well. Um, I came across him, but I didn't come across the lieutenant. So where was the lieutenant in this box up? Because he was possibly one of the models that I was going to use as a giveaway. Okay, so we have the nice guidance. See all the many languages that everyone wants, um, just because it's there. So yeah, you've got the captain on Phobos armor, the librarian, and then the master of possessions. This is a separate sprue. And you've got two of the B, which we said, one of the C, which is chaos, one of the D, which is chaos, and one is the A, which is the rest of the space marines. So I only presume the Lieutenant was in that spree. Must have been. Again, it's really cool how they actually picture these now. Um, I'm really impressed. What I really like is seeing the model painted after it's done. Um, I think that's a nice touch. So we got the captain in Phobos armor. Um, what I've read is got some, what I've seen has got some cool rules, but I do want to read them myself just because I'm that type of person. Um, and I'll do a screen down similar to this, so you'll see exactly what I'm reading. 
Um, might have a read through first, give me some a little bit of guidance before I start reading it. Um, but we'll see. And we've got new librarian. Again, you know, it, it's they're quick builds, they're easy builds in my opinion. They're not the clip with no glue type of easy builds like you can get. Um, they're just sort of like the middle ground before the full the full sets in a sense. You know, there's only one way the body can go on, the legs can go on, the arms in theory, you know, they're not they can't they're not they're all stick on um, but they're not pure easy, you don't need any glue type thing. So you still need to have something on there. And the infiltrators, that's what I was thinking of. Um, you should get 10 of one really cool with smoke grenades and one with the new sort of, like I say, sort of apprentice look apocryphy. Not quite there yet, but he has some skills in into trying healing his own models. Quite cool on that. Again, really solid. And you get 10 in here as well, I believe. So I'll have a look at the back of the box in a minute once all this is done. And the Eliminators, what cool name is that? And um, which pretty much is basically what they're supposed to be doing. I'd be interested to know what the comparison is compared to the Assassins that have come out. You know, the Sniper Assassin is, is ridiculously good, in my opinion, for 85 points. It'd be nice to know the comparison on that. You've got Suppressors, which again, I'm not too sure on the backpack and stuff, but it looks like the backpack um, comes with the ammo feed ammo round on that so it'll be quite hard to convert without the um the actual grab shoot on there but it looks like you don't need it on there so that could be something if you didn't want to put it on you could get away with that um i think i might do that i don't know yet i'm just not too sure i think it needs to be like a bigger backpack on there like the old school um jump pack and i'm not too sure on the jumping legs but Let's see what I like. I don't know what I've only painted, shown one painted of the models as well. Um, I'm not 100% sold on, um, only because of what I've had already and the previous experience of the actual new flying stands. And then and when we first saw the box, we only saw that we had two of these and then everyone said you need three in a squad. So that was sort of like cheeky, but you do get three in here. So just to confirm that as well. You know, Master Possessions, and you got the Chaos guys, which I really love as well. I have a Black Legion army, I've got a Sinesh army in the making, um, and I had a, got a, sent a beautiful one, or I haven't done the unboxing yet, for from Creature Creations, which is um, what I've been told will you know, add to my Sinesh army. I'm really looking forward to unboxing that as well. So you got the Chaos Champion in a sense. So like uh, bot guns, you got know, nice pistols, um you got a real good mix in there. Um, it'd be interesting to know what you want to mix with. You've got one with a plasma gun, and then you got one with the auto cannon. I really like the auto cannon. Um but it'd be interesting to know, like do you go full like if you buy two boxes then you can sort of mix and match it, you know, you can have a full combat squad running forward with the the melter gun, um and maybe even turning them into the berserkers maybe um and then you can have one with all with, all with pistol all with bolt guns with your cannon um i think as a 10-man squad it's not optimal optimized but it looks amazing then you got the great possessed two of those um i think they're a really cool addition um, i love possessed anyway i love the rules the history for it i think they're quite cool um like the idea that it, you know, it's just a mutation, they've just gone too far. Um, there's just no way coming back now from it. Then you've got the what well, definitely no way coming back is the Blit Rays. In fact, there's two in this box set, um, looks really cool. And I looked on eBay and they're really like pre selling it for like 20 quid for the two, um, which is actually 10 pounds, not too bad, but. I generally would try if it was me I'd try and find someone who wants like the marines if you want the chaos buy the chaos or buy the box and then find someone who wants the marines and stuff like that so try and split it be be you know if you're like me I've got both armies so it doesn't matter um, that's why I've got two um, and I was lucky enough well I asked for two and lucky enough to get two um, yeah really cool I love the blue raiders
Show you it's on this page. Then we got the Venom Crawler. Looks so impressive. Um, already saw on one of the Facebook groups someone compared it to the Rackyard. Rackyard. So I can't say the Arachnids model from Fantasy or a Sigma um, for the goblins and stuff. It's standing next to it, and it was a really interesting comparison. I think the arms look really cool. The fact that it has an element of being a spider, but also a mechanic on to it. You know, it looks like it is something the Warp Smith has you know, taken his time over, and then went a little bit crazy towards the end. Um, which I quite like. I, I like the fact that you can definitely tell it's chaos. It's not something else. Like you could easily, these type of things you could easily s turn into sort of like, um, well, it's, it's called Dark Elder. I know they're not there, but you can't. Um, but you know, there's some of those models that sort of look like it could be either side, but it definitely looks like chaos. And they got just the painting guide. All the paints that you need if you're going to go through this type of uh, paint scheme, which is really cool. Um, I see you've got all, like, all the bases, the bigger bases, the jump pen there. Um, go through that. And um, we've got not that many. I thought I'd get a lot more. Um, I suppose there's not really that many icons you need to put on. I mean, you only got Black Legion, so it's there for the Blit Ray, is there obviously for the troops. Um, and then you've got the markings as well. And that's quite you know not massive amount but so in a box set itself you know, on the back it looks really cool you've got a lot of models in there i think it's good value for its money i really really do um i think the fact that you're getting a captain, a librarian, a lieutenant, and the space marine. So you got three HQs in there, um, three uh, what are they called? Immolators, three suspect um, suspense suspenses, not suspenses. Um, the jump guys I can't even speak now. Um, ten of the. Novel traitors or affiliate you know, traitors, um, which are quite cool. It'd be nice. I must know if in the rules you could break them down into two five so you can, you know, you can go okay, there's a patrol already. I know we will play a little bit more than that to try and get her come on points, but it'll be interesting to know what sort of it comes out in there. And you've got the possess, you've got the venom claw, two of their rays, two prey, prey possess, and then 10. 10 space marines which we know with full well we can break down into two squads of five so and then you've got the bullet rays you can break down into two the great possessed i know you can have them in two as well so there's quite a lot in there there's only one main character compared to the space marines which got two or three um as a matchup it'd be interesting to know what they play like to, like if you had nothing else than just this I, I don't know which one will be stronger or not it'd be interesting and um, i do f visually I think you get more for your Space Marines. But actually for army-wise, you for Chaos, you want Obliterators. And you possibly want the new Venom Crawler. The um, you know, the Great Possessor got some really cool rules. Chaos Space Marines look really chunky compared to the old ones. So it'll be interesting to know what, what they've got. Um and the Primus Marines, it'll be interesting to know if these squads are break down in two. So let's just have a look. But yeah, no, really, really solid. So just had a recheck of the sprue um, for the lieutenant, and he was. Oh, it just disappeared on me. Where are you on? He's here. So the lieutenant is on this part of the sprue, and um, that's his head. There. And if you focus in, yeah. Or it could be that way round. Depends if you're taking him from upside down head, which is what I can't unsee. But, oh well. So, it'll be interesting to know where you're buying your box sets from. Um, then, you know, we've got to do a massive shout out to GW for this and all the favours that I've got from my old contacts. So, thank you for that. Um, if I was buying it myself, then I would have gone for Goblin Gaming. Um, because that's our affiliates. Check all the links out below in the description. 
um, or I'm doing a whole new campaign of doing support local as well. Um, if you've been seeing our Instagram and seeing our pages and stuff like that, then you'll be noticing I'm, I'm tagging in local cl clubs as well. And if you tag your local club in any of our comments, I'll like it as well. Um, because I think it's really important that they get the likes because that gets more people interested and you're more likely to like something if someone else likes something as well, I always believe. It's sort of like real weird psychology that we have. Um, is the Grumpy Goblin. Um, there's um, not long opened up actually, I think. Um, close to where I now work, so quite cool for me. Got a hobby store just around the road, um, but that's where I'd go. They're the two places I'd buy from. Um, be interested to know where you'd buy from and where you've ordered from um, as well. But really hope you like the unboxing. Stay tuned, hopefully, um, I'll start doing a review video of the two books and get those out as well to you. Um, before release. That is my aim. I know everything is due on Saturday and it is Thursday and it's already really late um, mainly because life gets in the way as you can see behind me I, I've got my kitchen that I'm doing um, and I've got a garage to convert. I say me very usually. usually. Um, it's not me doing it obviously I'm, I'm rubbish at all of that sort of stuff. <laughs> I've got people in to do it um, but you know it takes time. Um, and it means my hobby's all gone on the back burner. So I've got quite a few unboxings to do from great companies that have sent them some stuff out. I've got some pre-orders as well, they're coming over as well from Urban Mats. So I'm really looking forward from that. But generally, massive thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Please sub. Um, I think this could be something that the favour I got becomes something more um, based on subs and stuff like that. So um, if you like early contact from just a general channel from us, then sub away share it like with your friends and don't forget to tag and share with us your local shopping store your stores as well as well wherever it is in the world i want to make sure that those local stores get recognized and they're just advertised because they've they got a hard job <laughs> um, you know um i've been in that industry myself so you know it's hard um but yeah thank you again um wherever you are in the world make it a good one and happy hobbying